Well, welcome. It's a Saturday night in La Grande, Oregon. I'm Rick Dancer. I'm Kathy Dancer. And this is PNW Backstories, and we are beginning our Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway. And you got to stop. This is our getaway, and you got to start in La Grande in Union County. We're going to be here for a couple of days sharing stories with you guys and all kinds of information. But this is the downtown area. And as you can see, they have snow, like we don't, but they do. And we have some folks here we want to talk to. I just love the look of this town, don't you? It's really cute. It's a beautiful little town, lots of renovation. All right, so here we go. Well, look at that. <laughs> Tell them who you are. Hi, I'm Susanna with the Union County Chamber, and this is my main squeeze, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. I told her to call him that, and she did it. Oh, my God, this is awesome. So we got... Oh, we got trains in the background. So tell me about what's going on in La Grande, Oregon. We have a lot going on. So right now you're standing in Max Square Park. Behind us is the very famous and legendary Cast Iron Mary, who has been long in the town. It used to be right out here in the middle of traffic, but too many accidents led to it moving to a little bit safer of a home. She is pretty attractive. She is. We have to <laughs> keep her in all of her glory and beauty right there. So if you look downtown, we're actually in the historic downtown district here. You can see City Hall with the clock tower that was um, restored and donated back to the city. And then from there is the Liberty Theater. Um, right now there is the Liberty Theater Foundation is working really hard to do restoration projects on this. So we're going to be able to have films, screenings, shows, performances, plays. It's going to be this really wonderful community space where we're able to put me, on all that. Let me show it real fast. Look at this, you guys. So that's the theater we're talking about. It's absolutely fantastic. And the sign that they have was um, based on the actual historic sign. So it is really... Um, in line with the historic preservation of the building. So tell, go ahead. So Susanna, like we come here a lot of times in the summer and a lot of people come visit, but winter, we're really excited to experience winter here. Can you tell us a little bit about what winter looks like and what activities go on here in the area in Union County? Yeah, absolutely. And what's really funny is we just started getting winter this week. It has been unseasonably so, well, warm until we have, now. <laughs> PNW backstories, we have timing. <laughs> it's perfect. You guys brought the brought the snow. So it's definitely not anything that dampens any of the to-dos. So we still have the music, the culture. We have multiple um, art galleries. There is the Mount Emily Rec area is just a couple minutes from the downtown La Grande. And so there is snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, fat biking, anything that you want just a couple minutes away from that. Not to mention food, music. It's it's a pretty happening scene. Awesome. And I think uh, we're going to get to experience some of that here in the next few days. So excited about it. And so my main squeeze just said something but I didn't hear what he okay, said what you say, man? Anthony Lakes a great ski area that is not overly crowded and kind of just a hidden gem in the area so we're gonna be up there at the end of our trip you guys will be showing you this because this really is the reason you guys and Wallawa and Baker all got together to do this is you're one big it's like one big horseshoe yeah, absolutely. With the Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway really connects us. So we're neighbors in geography, but with the Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway, you start here, you get to go through and experience all of Northeast Oregon in that horseshoe way. So we all have these different things. We work together and just say, hey, start here, go here, do this, do that. So I think people here don't, or back in, in whoever are watching, that don't live here, don't understand. You guys have a real food scene, as does Baker, and, and you also have, you know, culture and things to do here that are, it's romantic. It's like a romantic place to be in the wintertime. It is. I feel like it's one of those, you know, when you see those hotels that have the different themed rooms, and that's almost how this is. You can come here, you have this cozy little place where you can get your brunch or just have some mimosas, or you can go to the hip scene where, which we'll be going to soon. We're getting hungry already for the side day brewing and they have the fire museum right attached to it so you just get this kind of take a breather from all of the hustle and bustle of everything and you get to come here and just do whatever you want to do like you do you okay so now last thing I want to ask you I heard under City Hall I heard there's a tunnel there's lots of tunnels actually all over the whole town has tunnels everywhere but what I was saying earlier I think it's rumor but there is a little tunnel under there that can connect buildings so and we'll be seeing some of that tunnel system well, you're going to be seeing the marketplace underground so it is it's gonna take you to practically a European getaway just to see this so if you haven't if you haven't been there yet it's it's a pretty magical spot do people underestimate Eastern Oregon do you think I would say so 
<laughs> that excited. I would say that it's one of those places that you don't initially think of for your getaways. And so when you have the opportunity to come and explore and experience, you see these things that, oh my gosh, there's all of these wonderful amenities everywhere. You know what I find interesting is that anybody who's been to Eastern Oregon loves Eastern Oregon. Yeah. You know, they all say, oh my gosh, it's like this hidden gem and so many people don't know or ever heard about it. And yet here we are. And I was just talking to a lady at the pool the other day and she's like, she actually got teary because it was one of her favorite spots and she'd never been here in the winter. So, And she's going to the Caribbean and she says, you know what though? She, this is a true story. Uh -huh. She says to Kathy, I would just as soon be going where you're going and go hike in the Eagle Caps as to go to the Caribbean. It's probably a good and bad thing that it's a hidden gem, right? That yeah. we all love it. That's why we right. live here because it is the hidden part of it. But we do love sharing the gem of it. Yeah. And the good thing about winter in Eastern Oregon too is the crowds. You don't have the crowds because it can get kind of waiting lines. And in, in the summertime, it's a popular place. You guys, Joseph mm -hmm. Baker mm -hmm. City. In the wintertime, we got it all to ourselves. Oh yeah, you will <laughs> never wait at the ski lift for longer than it takes the ski lift to take you up to the top wow. of the mountain. All right, well, thanks for having us. Yes. So honey, come over here, we gotta tell them more. So you guys, we also have a contest and everybody was so generous, we actually have three. So Union County's giving a couple of nights here and we'll show you where you're gonna be staying and stuff like that. Uh, Wallowa County, County is giving some nights and so is Baker, Baker County. So you guys, lots to do and lots of things to enter. So uh, go on over to our Facebook page or Instagram and check out how to enter our contest. It's right at the top of this video. It'll tell you what to do and give okay. us a comment. The better the comment, the better your chances. <laughs> All right, we're going to go party and round and have some fun and we'll be bringing you videos throughout the week. So we're going to be here for a couple of weeks now. Well, 11 days and then we'll be bringing your stuff. All right, there's the horn. We're done. <laughs> All right, see you later.